Yeah, get him, Zeldies. Hit him with your sword, Zeldies. Oh, hi. I didn't see you come in. Yeah, I know. We'd all rather be playing video games right now, that classic fake way that everyone plays video games in the ads when they think that moving this like this means they're actually gonna do anything in the game. You know, fake gamers. I actually have really exciting news to tell you guys today. I I'm honestly really pumped up for it and you would have already seen it in the title. And no, it's not that I'm going to Game On Expo, which is something I am so insanely excited for. I haven't been to Game On Expo before. I haven't been to Phoenix before. It's, an it's both another con and another place in the United States that I can cross off my map. I'm so excited to go. Plus, a really good friend of mine, John, Gamester81, he is the one that puts on this convention and it's doing so well. I think it's the third year now. And I really hope a lot of you that live in the area around Phoenix or close to Phoenix can come out and say hi. The dates are on August 11th, 12th and 13th, a three day convention. I'll be there the entire time. I'll have a panel with Billy, Jay, from Game Chasers and Eric from 8-Bit Eric, as well as I'm gonna sit on Metal Jesus's panel and be a part of his panel. There's gonna be so much fun to be had that weekend with a ton of other guests that I'll get to in just a moment. But the thing that I'm most excited to tell you guys about right now is a little, a little known channel called Retro Liberty. Now they had about 33,000 subscribers for those of you who don't know who they were. They were absolutely beloved in the retro gaming community on YouTube. One of the nicest, most pure, innocent, happy YouTube channels that you could find. I'm excited to be the one to be able to tell you this and that's that Aaron and Ricky will be at Game On Expo. So if you are a fan of either myself or Aaron and Ricky, this is both of our announcement videos that you'll see both of us at Game On Expo the entire weekend, all three days. I'm so excited to go. Absolute favorite guests that are going. It's not just YouTubers this time. We have Dave Fenoy who, vo who voiced Lee in the Walking Dead game, which I'm not gonna pull it out because there's too much stuff in the way, but is one of my top five favorite games of all time. I love that game. I love Telltale. I love a lot of the stuff that they do, but the first Walking Dead game, there's very few, there's very, I think that might be the only game that's made me cry actually. There's like, I've cried maybe one other time, I think in Toy Story 3, but apart from that, media and movies and books and TV shows and uh, comic books, anything, nothing really gets to me like that. But that game got to me, and I'm just a huge fan of the game in general and the story that it told, which is why I was able to get to that point, because I was so engrossed by it. But not only do we have him there, we also have the voice of Clementine, Melissa. We have a ton of other guests. I'm so excited to see both of them. We have Patricia, who voiced uh, Zelda in the new Breath of the Wild game, which I can't believe that I'm on a guest list with her as well. We have the guy that voiced Commander Shepard in Mass Effect, another one, not in my top five favorite, but definitely one of my favorite games and franchises and series of all time. Phil Moore, I'll finally get to, to meet Phil Moore. And then as far as YouTubers, you have a lot of the usual run-of-the-mill YouTubers that go to these things. You have Andre, Metal Jesus Rocks, Gaming Historian, Pat the NES Punk, uh, Ian's gonna be there, GameSack, Ant Dude, who actually, I met Ant Dude at Last Retro Palooza, such a nice guy. If you haven't seen his channel, I highly recommend checking it out. Every video is high quality content, and you can start watching his content right now, and I guarantee you'll be a big fan of him by Game On, so you have time. And as I said, there's Game Chasers, myself, 8-Bit Eric, are gonna be there. I am so excited for this convention. And if you're not anywhere near this convention or anywhere near Phoenix and you can't make it out, there is a few other places you can find me later in the year and I will be doing announcement videos for those too. But I'll let you know quickly right now that once again, I'll be attending Retropalooza in Dallas, in Texas. I go to every Retropalooza. So if you're gonna go to one, you're gonna see me. I love Retropalooza. I'm gonna be at Retro World Expo in Connecticut again. They asked me to come out and be a guest again and have my own panel this time. And I'm super excited for that. And as always, Always, I will make sure to make it to Portland, whether I'm a guest or not. I was actually fortunate enough to be a guest last year, but they rotate their guests a lot. I don't know if I will be on the guest list, but either way, I don't care. I love that convention, and I'm going to hang out with my friends to buy video games and meet you guys. So I will be there, but I wanted those of you who might be upset that they can't see me, which is still such a weird thing to me. Um, you can see me in those places too. I love meeting all of you. Like, even if you see me on the street, I went to Seattle recently, and I, have a, I guess I have a big fan base in Seattle because I got so many messages on Facebook and Twitter saying, dude, I just saw you on the street. I didn't want to bother you. I love meeting people. Please bother me. I don't care. Say hi. It makes me feel special. But it's just awesome to meet you guys and meet the people in real life. It's so easy to get buried in the sea of comments that's YouTube and Facebook or messages. But face to face, that's one on one time where you, I can meet people and, and it's just awesome. And I can do that at conventions. So. so hopefully I'll see you guys on the 11th, 12th and 13th of this month of August 
at, uh, I don't, actually, I don't even know where it is. Give me two seconds. At the Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona. I, I really hope to see you guys there. And one last thing, I'm gonna hijack this announcement video and turn it into a somewhat update video because I just wanna say to the Patreons out there or anyone interested maybe in supporting me on Patreon, I have recently changed and updated a lot of things over on Patreon. For example, I added a new tier, I improved a couple of the old tiers, and I added an actual welcome video and a thank you video to Patreon. So if you actually wanna learn more about Patreon, what it is, and what you get out of supporting my Patreon in particular and the rewards that I have, there's a video on the page now that will explain all of that. Something that's very uh, long overdue, but I'm definitely trying to step up my game on everything I do, whether it's social media, on YouTube, on uh, Patreon, as it grows, I wanna keep growing with it. So again, if you're a Patreon, I'd recommend checking it out. And if you're not, I'd love you to check it out. There are some changes. But that's all from me. I love you guys so much. I know these videos aren't exactly fun in your face, me throwing paint on my face kind of videos, and they're not as exciting to watch. But there's a lot of you out there that watch anything I do right through to the end. Like if you're watching this right now, you're one of those people. And those people, you guys, you right now, you're the best. You're honestly the the on the, the best. Just the fact that you would watch something like like a mundane. You're probably there's probably someone watching this right now in UK or Sweden that have no intention to go, to go to this convention and they knew by clicking on the video at the start it was completely unrelated to them but they're still at this point because they enjoy watching me and my videos and you guys are the ones that are awesome as hell so thank you and I'll see you in the next video bye